had a company I was looking to do some business with me and my sales and marketing person said, hey, um, they really want to do business with you, you know, with us, but the CEO wants to talk to you. I don't think the CEO really is comfortable with you. Great. And, and it was kind of funny because it was literally an hour after I got off the plane, I'd literally run down to Brazil. It was a 36 hour trip to Brazil, literally going down, coming back and boom, an hour later, I'm on the phone with the CEO. And his first question is, and I, I don't know the guy. I don't know the guy. He says, Mark, your price is really high. Your fees are really high. Can you cut your price? And my response, and this is the response I want you to do when you're challenged on price. No, but I can change the value. But without missing a beat, I came back and I asked him a question regarding his most significant pain. I said, he said, Mark, your fees are really high for this project. Can you cut them? And I said, no, all we can do is change the value. Talk to me a little bit about the challenges your organization is facing in 17. And he begins talking. Then he stops and he says, wow, that was really good. I asked you to lower your price and you got me talking about my problems. We went on and had a 20 minute discussion. And you know what's interesting? I came out of it with an even bigger project. Now, the only reason I came out of it with a bigger project is because I had the dialogue, but I was with the president of the company, the president and CEO of the company. And he authorized it immediately for me to do X plus. And he was picking up the phone calling me to get me to cut my fees. Don't ever think for a moment that your, your price is too low. It's the value. That's not high enough. That's where you got to get to. You see, it really comes down to this very simple thing. We influence each person we meet. It's our duty to influence them positively. 